Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're so glad you're here today for another YouTube Live. We're going to be making some slim cards today. I've got Brenda on. She is my most fabulous moderator in the whole wide room. Good morning. Good morning, my friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Look, hey, there's double of us that were here last week. <laughs> so last week, we were like, what happened? Where is everybody? Well, yours truly accidentally put the video as unlisted instead of public. So nobody even knew it was there. We were like, what happened? But it's all good now. We got it fixed. And you guys have seen the video from last week. But we're sorry that you, you weren't here live. But that was my fault. <laughs> oh, well, hey, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, because I was telling Brenda before we went live, I, I went and I took a peek outside and you guys know I live in Oklahoma, and today is a severe weather day, and it's looking a little scary out there, possibility of tornadoes today and tomorrow. The last thing I want to happen is the tornado sirens to go off in the middle of a live, and that is life in Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, we're going to go uh, over to my stamping table. Let me show you. Um, okay, I... It's... Let's try this button. Oh, my goodness. It's not going to be one of those days, is it? All right. <laughs> so real quick, as always, I've got a really great um, download for you. This is free. Just kind of my gift to say thank you for stopping by to uh, the channel today. And um, in this download, you're going to have um, my full supply list, the measurements to make the cards. If you need to come back, I've got a QR code. You can scan that or just click this and it'll take you to the video as well. And uh, right here, if you'd like to order any of the supplies, um, I'd love to be your demonstrator. You can click right there. Everything I'm using is going to be right there for you. So where to find this? Brenda's going to post it right there in the chat. Uh, you can also look down in the YouTube description and you're going to find a direct link to my post for today and you'll be able to find this download there or just go to simplysimplestamping.com. That's me. Check it out. All right. Let me show you our card. I'm going to show you my first card. Now, I, uh, we're making some slimline cards. And guys, this card is going to fit into a business size envelope. Uh, I believe these are called number 10 envelopes. Um, so yeah, you don't need anything fancy um, for uh, mailing the card. You probably already have it laying around. Today, we're really going to focus on border dies. Do you guys have border dies and you're looking for something new to do with them? Well, I got a little creative with mine. And uh, this one here, this is the elegant border dies. I'll show them to you here in just a second. But let me show you the card. It's going to tie here on the side. And then we have our little happy birthday and sweet little cupcake inside. So just a little, just a little different kind of card, right? Um, so let me go ahead and show you the dies that we're going to use. We're going to be using two sets of dies today, actually. And, you know, I got to thinking this morning before I went live, I'm like, you know, it's really hard for you to see what these dies look like when they're dies. So I went and die cut everything for you so that you guys could see. And uh, one thing about this particular set, this would be the elegant border dies. This is an online exclusive, by the way. So you're not going to see this in the catalog. You will find it online. I'm at uh, stampinup.com. Make sure to choose Connie Stewart as your demonstrator. Uh, so let me show you something about this set of dies in particular, because it is important. Only one side is going to cut. This side is going to stay attached. All right. See how it's cut, but it's attached. Same here and same here. All right. So I want you to be aware of that. Um, and um, I'm actually going to be using these dies for my daughter's wedding invitations because this one that we're going to be using today, I thought was just so pretty. And um, I'm going to use it as an actual border. But for today's cards, let me show you what we're going to be doing. Well, how about I give you some supplies? Let's get some supplies in here. Um, so very easy card, bubble bath. How many of you guys are in love with bubble bath? I know I am. This is seven and a half by eight and a half with the seven and a half up at the top score at three and three quarters. And that's going to get you your slimline card. All right. Next, we're going to need two pieces and these are the same size. These are three and a half by eight and a quarter. Um, I'm going to be using Melon Mambo and Basic White. Uh, one's for the inside, one's for the outside. 
you're going to need 22 inches of ribbon. Black and white gingham has always been my favorite and it looks so gorgeous with um, those colors. And guys, on that bubble bath, just grab yourself a scrap, but I need you to punch out a two and three eighths punch. And if you don't have a punch, uh, find a circle die that will work as well, but about th two and three eighths inch. Okay. You know what, friends? We are going to start with stamping. Is that cool with you? We're going to start with stamping and uh, we're going to be using the circle sayings stamp set and matching punch. Yeah, this one comes as a bundle. Um, this one caught my eye. I love cupcakes and I just thought that cupcake was so sweet and look at those fonts. Oh, they're so cute. So uh, this does come as a bundle or you can buy them separately. So if you already have a circle punch or you prefer to use your dies, you can just get the stamp set too. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to start with some stamping and I am, I am missing one little piece. Hold on. There should have been a little square piece of basic white, which means I have dropped it. Don't worry, we'll I'll I'll show you what we're gonna do. But you're gonna need a little two by two uh, piece of basic white or a scrap. Oh, don't you hate it when your desk is too messy and then my my you know you can't find it on stuff anyway. Story of my life, my friends. Story of my life. Okay, I am going to bring in my stampin' mat. And let's go ahead and start. We're going to be using um, Memento Black for everything on this card. And then we're going to color with our Stampin' Blends. So this is a birthday card. So I'm going to stamp happy birthday right there. And then I'm going to take my little cupcake and we're going to stamp it there. And like I said, somewhere on my messy desk is a little two by two. Will you stamp another one of these for me? You're going to stamp it twice. Now, um, that punch, I really am just losing everything. <laughs> there it is. Oh, and now I can't pick it up. There we go. <laughs> All right. So this is a big circle stamp that says celebrate. And I'm just going to center that up in that circle punch. And that is done. Okay. Guys, all the stamping I need to do, I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and do some coloring. So I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to bring in my grid paper so I don't accidentally bleed through. Let's talk about Stampin' Blends. So I'm going to be using Bubble Bath, uh, Melon Mambo. And this is ivory from the bronze and ivory. But if you have some of the other ones, you can use that too. So let's do a little coloring here. Let's color our cupcake. I like my cupcakes light vanilla. You could make it chocolate too, right? And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to do, um, let's go ahead and do the bottom of this. And here's my um, creative way to use Stampin' Blends. So there's a lot of detail in. Uh, the little cupcake, um, what do you call this thing? The, the paper thing. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scribble. I'm just drawing those lines. All right. And then I'm going to just trace around the top, the bottom and the sides. I got to tell you guys, for whatever reason, my coffee made me really jittery today and that's not normal. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to come in with the light and I'm going to use the brush tip now and I'm going to blend those together. Yeah. And it's just going to give some really nice shading on there. I'm actually going to repeat that with the bubble bath. So I'm going to take the dark again. Oh, come on lid. <laughs> it's a brand new marker. So, all right. So I'm going to do that same thing and I'm just going to trace all of my frosting. Okay. Just like that. Then we can come in with the light. And you remember the, the mystery uh, two by two that has disappeared that had a cupcake on it? I want you to color that one as well. <laughs> Good thing I have one already done for you. So, okay, look at that. I mean, it was pretty easy, right guys? Okay, so that is our coloring. Um, I will take that extra cupcake that I made 
and I just fussy cut it. And guys, it was not a difficult one to fussy cut. Um, I've got a couple dimensionals on there that I'll add. So I'm going to set this off to the side because it's not going to come in until the end. All right. Well, with that, I'm now ready to show you how we are going to use these incredible elegant border dies on our piece of melon mambo. Okay, here's what you need to know about these dies. Let me go ahead and bring all of them in. And I'm going to zoom in because I want you to see this. Okay, so I told you that one end is going to cut and the other end is not because it, it stays on the... I'm going to go ahead and show you this. See, it's attached. It doesn't, it doesn't cut. It's only going to cut one side. So I want you to pay attention that this, you can see the cutting blade all along there. But look at this side. Yeah, it's flat. So that's how you know what side's going to cut and what side is going to stay attached. And that's going to be the same for all of the dies. Oh, these are always so fun to try to pick up. So same thing. Can you see there's a cutting blade, but it's flat here. All right, so that's, that's what you want to focus on. All right, go ahead and bring that back out. Let's do some die cutting. All right, I'm going to bring in my stamp and cut and boss machine. And let's get some cutting plates. So we're going to start with plate number one, thin die adapter two, cutting plate three. I got this one, but we're going to set it off to the side. All right, I'm going to lay my cardstock, my Melon Mambo cardstock on here. And you notice it's like filling up the whole thing. All right, cutting side. We want the cutting side to the outside. All right, cutting side to the outside. And you just want to kind of, oh, I'm going to give myself, maybe that's a half inch or so. And then check at the top at the bottom and make sure you're, you're where you need to be. All right. I'm going to add my top plate and we're going to run this through. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a lot of times with detailed dies, I like to run it through twice. So I run it through and then I run it back through one more time. Um, anyone else do that? I just sometimes uh, feel like it just works a little bit better. All right. You're going to get lots of these. I would throw them on the floor, but I vacuumed my stamp room today. So I just don't have the heart to do it. Okay, here is a Connie tip. Are you ready? So I need to get this to release itself. I'm going to hold on to the die. Just whack that on the table a few times. And look at that. All of my pieces are out of there, but they're not out of here. So here is my next tip. Just kind of give it a little pound. Now there are still some on there and let me move all my trash. I just can't. You guys know I always throw it on the floor just to torture the dog, but I can't do it today. All right. I'm going to bring in my take your pick tool and there is an attachment that's a little dye brush. So these little bristles will get in there and release any of those. And then if you have some that don't come out, which I mean, it can still happen. They just really get in there. You can come in. Oh, I think I got them on. Nope. There's a couple right there. You can take the, the, the pokey, um, the piercer, and you'll be able to get the rest of those out. All right. So those are just a couple of my tips for working with the dies and making sure you can get all those pieces. But I do need to tell you before we go and do this again, okay, because we're going to do it on both sides, um, you are going to want to make sure that all of those pieces are out of there. Because if it's not, what's going to happen is it might not cut correctly. All right. Because if there's already paper in there, your, your blade might not be hitting where it needs to. So make sure it is all clean. And friends, we are going to place our next die. Remember, cut side is going out. We'll put this right on top. You're going to run it through. And you guys saw through the magic of television, I have one done for you. That's what it's going to look like. All right, everybody good? Everybody with me? Awesome, here we go. I'm gonna actually do just a little bit of stamping on this piece. And remember that circle punch that we had? I'm just gonna set it on here. I'm not adhering anything down yet because I wanna do, this is one little, I should, I think I said I was done with stamping, but I forgot. I, 
This one is one you have to do after you've done your die cutting. So if I set that right there, I'm kind of figure out where it's going to be centered. I love this little burst thing. Doesn't it just really just kind of make my circle pop a little bit more? I thought it looked really sweet. All right, that is done. So guess what? Oh my heavens. I, don't you love it when a card just comes together really, really fast? <laughs> All right, we're going to take that 12 inches of ribbon. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and adhere this in our card so that I don't go and tie it together before I've added my inside sentiment. Boy, I got to write a lot on this one, you guys. I better think about what to say or write really big. <laughs> Please tell me someone else is with me. Oh, let's see. Joan says, uh, the little curly pieces left in the die when popped out would be cute to add to confetti stamp. Yes, for a celebration or congratulations card. You are absolutely right, Joan. You know what else? It would be really cute in a shaker card. Um, so yeah, those can be really fun to hold on to. All right. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to tie my ribbon here in a bow on the side. Remember that was about 22 inches of ribbon. I like to give plenty of ribbon when I know that the recipient is going to have to retie it. Okay, let's center that up right there in our card. And now we are ready to add our, um, our die cut piece. But I really want these pieces to be kind of a wow. I want these, so we're going to pop them. All right, we're going to pop. Let's come in with some Stampin' Dimensionals. We are about to get super happy, happy with dimensionals. All right, super happy. All right, we're going to go three down the ends. And I'm going to try to get these off as I go here. Oh, Joan says, yep, she can see that too. Absolutely. I'm going to put a couple of these here in the middle. And I'm going to do two down each side like so. You know, when you've got a really big card, you got to get a little dimensional happy, you guys. I know. We like to keep it as simple as possible, but boy, there's a lot going on here. So let's get all of our backings off. I've got everything else. Yeah, you don't want soggy middles. Brenda said, yeah, we don't want soggy middles. We absolutely do not. Um, we're going to add that. Oh, sorry. Let me bring it in the camera. It's kind of in my own world here. There we go. Now we're going to take that celebrate and we're just going to adhere that down. So I will. Sorry, I knew I did that with the it's a brand new adhesive. Come on. There we go. Let's add our celebrate. Make sure I'm getting it centered from side to side. Perfect. Oh, and now on my messy desk, where's my cupcake? So remember, this is that little extra one that we fussy cut. We'll add that there. Oh, my gosh, right? So easy and so cute. And then, of course, they can just untie. We've got a place we're going to write our message. But, guys, i got another card and I've got another trick to share with you. So uh, let's create a masculine card. So this one um, I did with a different set of dies. This one I did with the basic borders. All right. They just kind of went flying when I grabbed them there. Um, and this, this set has six or five. Five? I thought I had six. Is it five? Oh, there's the other one. I was like, I thought it had six. I just dropped it. So these are the dies that come in the basic borders. Now these are a little bit different. So let me bring in my kind of example here so that you can see. So again, same thing here. You're going to see where it's going to cut. And um, I just, this one is a favorite. I got to tell you, this one is a favorite. This one here has a lot of details to it. Okay. And 
it's really elegant. These have a little more whimsical feel, but you see, you can do rounded, you could do um, a pointy, you got some scallops, you got all kinds of great things on this one, the basic borders. This is the one that's in the catalog, by the way. And so let me show you my card. So this is my masculine card together for the long haul. And this one I used, ooh, I used some new colors. You guys see? Pretty peacock, pecan, no, copper clay, forgive me, copper clay. This is that wild wheat ribbon. This is the ribbon everyone's going crazy for. And I said, wishing you a happy Father's Day with the little, the little bug. All right, let me show you what we did on this one. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the uh, dimensions for this. You know, they are all the same. Pretty Peacock and Very Vanilla are the same. They are three and a half by eight and a quarter. Um, remember, we had a base that was seven and a half by eight and a half, scored at three and three quarters. There's my little circle. Hey, look at that. I remembered the scrap on this one. Uh, this is a two and a half by two and a half, I believe. Yes, two and a half by two and a half. All right, here is what we are going to do because I've got some tips and tricks here. So I'm going to bring in an early espresso ink pad and the He's All That stamp set. This one is one of my favorite and one of my go-to masculine sets. So we're going to start, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with this, okay? Because, so let me take this, move it out of your way. You don't want to use that just yet. We're going to do a little technique called ink to rubber. So I have got an early espresso marker, not stamp and blend, not a stamp and blend. This is a marker. And what I want to do is you notice I'm using the side of the brush tip. And I am going to ink up only the little Volkswagen bus. You know, I've always wanted to own one of these. I just think they are the coolest thing. Now you want to go kind of uh, heavy with the ink. I mean, you want to really make sure everything is really good and heavily inked. And then what we're going to do is we're going to huff on it. That means we're just going to go and the moisture from our breath will give us that. All right, perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And um, let me grab some grid paper for you guys. We'll do a little bit of coloring here. And do, 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 here's my markers, my blends. We're gonna use blends. We are going with Lost Lagoon and some basic black. Now the basic black, I'm gonna tell you, the basic black is only here for the tires. Now, as I'm going to town on this, and we'll go ahead and color. Remember how I did it before where I used my dark and just kind of traced everything out? Like I said, that's kind of been my go-to method for um, blends. And we just give that a quick little trace there. And then we can come in with the light. I'm not going to use the brush tip. I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally hit the uh, windows. So let's make sure we avoid that. I don't know about any bluish green windows. I guess I could tint them, <laughs> but no, I think we'll leave it just like this. All right. Now, what I want you to know is that once you've done this one, you're actually going to take that two by two. And now is the time we will use the early espresso ink pad. You're going to stamp that here onto your together for the long haul. And um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I don't normally go ahead and do this twice. So I'm going to try to read some comments. Oh, that coffee, look at that. That's they're gonna have a blowout on that tire because <laughs> I'm I'm all over the place. Oh, uh, oh, uh, sounds like somebody was asking if you could do this with markers and not the blends. Absolutely. Um, I'm a huge fan of the blends, but Stampin' Up just changed um 
they're Stampin' Right markers. Now, I am not saying I didn't like them before, but I will say I love them now. They just blend a little bit better. Um, guys, I did this backwards. <laughs> Let's try that again. I guess it doesn't really matter. All right. Well, you know, creativity at its best. It's what happens when I try to read comments and color at the same time. All right. Hey, still looks good. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this marker and see this little. Oh, let's see if my coffee will let me do this one today. So shout out to all my coffee drinkers who have the shakes this morning. Oh, and I don't know if you guys can hear it. I think I hear the rain pouring down. All right. We have that done. It's time to use our punch. So we are going to bring, oh, you know what? I, I have to, I stand corrected, my friends. This one, and um, guess yours truly, forgot to bring it over here. We're going to use the two inch circle punch, the two inch circle punch. So you're going to want to punch this one with the two inch circle. All right. So this is too big, but the two inch circle, you're going to give that a quick punch. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the magic to your pretty peacock. First, let me go ahead and show you how I did my um, border dies. So I laid it right here. All right. And I ran that through my machine, just like you saw me do before. And then I rotated it around and I die cut the other one as well. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is that you don't cut off, all right? But you can see how that's going to go together. Now, that was all right, but it was a little bland for me. So I decided to bring in some embossing folders. The basic 3D embossing folders is a three-pack. Some of my favorites, but I loved this one. Now, you guys know, use your favorite embossing folder. But I loved this one. I love the texture of it. So I'm going to bring in my machine again, and I'm going to show you how you are going to emboss because, look, it doesn't fit. So I got a trick for you. So let's take plate one and embossing plate four. Okay, that's what we're going to need to do this because this is a 3D, so it's a thick one. And it tells you that right here. So no worries if you don't remember. Okay, so here's my embossing folder. I'm going to line up my embossing folder right here, right at that break. Can you see how I'm doing that? And don't worry, we're going to cover it up. We'll lay this onto our machine. <laughs> Coffee at its finest. All right. And the embossing plate, let's run that through. And... You can see we've embossed half of it. See, doesn't that, it adds a lot, doesn't it? It really does. All right, let's do that here on the other side. Don't worry if it's not perfect because we're going to hide it. We love to hide things, but at least we got that texture on there, right? Okay, we're going to run through another one. Oh, Brenda says, in my house, we say coffee makes Brenda nice. <laughs> oh, boy, my girl's. When they were little and home for the summer and stuff, they'd be like, Mom, Mom, do you need more coffee? <laughs> All right. So I've got that done. And you know what? I'm going to, because I want you to see, I'm going to zoom in. You can barely see, barely see that line, right? It actually came out just fine. I could leave it, but let's go ahead and put our card together. Um, oh, how about I? Wish my husband a happy Father's Day. Oh my gosh. We got the car. We need to say, wishing you a happy Father's Day. There we go. That looks a little bit better. All right. So, adhesive. Where did you go? There we go. You guys know I always have like a thousand pieces on my stamp table. And all right. Let's add this to the inside. Hey, everybody, do me a quick favor. If you have not subscribed to the channel, hey, be a subscriber. It's so much fun. We share twice a week. I'd love to have you. And if you love stamping videos, uh, be sure to subscribe. 
that's always a good thing. Okay, we're going to do something a little different with this one. So um, let me kind of bring in my original so you can see. Do you, do you see what I've done here? I've adhered the outside and I've popped this section. A little bit different, right? So I'm going to flip it over, although there's really not a right or wrong. I'm going to take my dimensionals for this one. And guys, you're going to add these only to this kind of little diamond shape we have going here. Okay. So get those here. As Brenda says, no saggy middles. We'll get that. Okay. Oh, before I do anything. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't bring the ribbon. So you're going to tie your ribbon. No, you are not. God, Connie, think, 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 think. All right. Let's take off our backings. Sorry, guys. You know, I made these cards a little while back, and sometimes I have to remember what it was I did. Oh, the joys of live. Okay, so we're going to get our backings off of this. And I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive. Oh, it is just pouring out there, I think. <laughs> All right, so adhesives or Stampin' Dimensionals are ready. Let's gently lay that on there, get it all centered up. Okay, ready? We're gonna press down what had adhesive on it. And now you can see we get that raised diamond in the middle. That's a little bit different, right? Okay, I'm gonna set this off to the side and I'm just gonna bring in my original here. So you can see I tucked my ribbon. You can go in between, you can go around, whatever works for you. But um, you can add that at this point. And then I just covered what was going on there in the center with my two and three eighths uh, copper clay. And then there's the correct two inch uh, one on the middle. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you this one. Um, again, I just wanted to add a little bit more of the um, wild wheat. So let me show you what I did there. I'm gonna bring this one back in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some tear and tape and just bring it straight down, okay? just like that. And like I said, I think I accidentally left my uh, ribbon on the other side, but you peel this off and then you will take your piece of ribbon and lay it right on there. Okay. So that's all you're going to do to be able to add that strip of ribbon. Um, you know, you know how it is. It's all about creativity. So then we can add this and, um, you know, our fabulous little, we'll punch that out. So you get super creative with how you want to put this one together. But again, I just wanted a little more wild wheat. And there is our card. We had 22 inches of the wild wheat ribbon. By the way, this one, it's got great texture to it. Um, and I love that the texture in the embossing folder really kind of matched the texture of my ribbon. Um, you know, for the guys, we don't want things to be too frilly. But I didn't have a problem with that just having... It's almost like a gift, right? Little ribbon there on the side. Let me bring in my birthday version. So we got one for the guys and one for the girls. Um, the, this is going to be great for the kids. Father's Day. You know what? Change up. Oh, did you hear that thunder? Woo! There it goes. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, it literally shook the ground underneath me. Um, so get creative with your border dies. Remember, there are two different dies. The other one is down there, but yeah, we've got the one that we used here on this card. Yeah. Have some fun with your border dies. Take them beyond just borders. They don't have to be used just for borders. Okay, my friends, that is all I have for you today, but I have something really important I need to share with you and don't freak out. Today is going to be my last live for the summer. Okay, we're going to be leaving on a trip here pretty soon, and I just need um, to be able to take some time off for the summer. I am still going to be sharing on Thursdays, all right, but I'm going to record those videos for you. Um, but because our family, we love to go camping, and, and we want to be able to just kind of have um, that time set aside. Uh, so 
I just wanted to let everyone know I'm not going anywhere. Well, camping in this trip, but I will still be around on Thursdays. We just won't do another live. So that's just for the summer. So we will be back with lives later on. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know that doesn't mean we're not here. You know, you can always email me with questions. And um, I think that's I think that's all. Bren, I think we got everything. Um, I've got some really great stuff lined up for you um, for the coming weeks. Like I said, oh, and I do want to let you know one other thing. I will be um, off the air uh, during the week of... 22nd, I believe, of May. Uh, I will be off that week. Uh, that is a Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So my family and I will be on a cruise to Norway. So um, no internet access way out there. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know we will be taking one week off and then uh, we'll be taking uh, the time off for the summer for the lives, but you will still see me every Tuesday and every Thursday. All right, my friends, thank you. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up on YouTube if you like those border cards and uh, be sure to subscribe. What does I say? Smash the subscribe button. Yeah, be sure to do that. Smash. Okay, see you guys on the next video next week. See ya. Bye.